Fire Earth Kesh to your numerology reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This reading is for Aries Taurus Cusp, Leo Virgo Cusp, and Sagittarius Capricorn Cusp. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Okay, okay. getting the energy. These are already pre-made, so let's get in here, okay, and see what is going on with you. First card coming out is deservingness. Uh, this is saying... You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. So beautiful message there for you. And getting straight into the numbers coming out, we have manifestation number eight. So if you guys are seeing a lot of eight, this is talking about Perfect time to manifest, or it could also be saying, hey, your manifestations are coming coming in. Let's see what's going on. You have rebirth, 16, breaking down to 7. Wow. Okay, so you guys could be going through some kind of rebirth. If you're going through a rebirth, you know you're going through a transformation, um, then it is definitely a time, right, to be manifesting. If you just got out of a rebirth, then here comes those manifestations, right? So it's going to be a little different for everyone. Depends on where you are. No matter what, you're going to manifest every day of your life, okay? Every time you see something, you want something, you're manifesting. So, but 9 plus 6 over here, you're seeing that 96. Breaking down to that 6, this is that forgiveness, having forgiveness, okay? And having the strength card coming out. And the animal coming out is the humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So any kind of healing that you need during this forgiveness time period um, would be a great time to get into that music. Heal the music. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's see what's going on over here. Uh, getting straight into the rebirth. A lot of beautiful numbers going on. I, you know what I'm noticing right now, guys? We've got six, seven, eight going on on the board over here. Wow. And then you have... You have four plus six, excuse me, equaling 10 down to one. So this strength is this after this rebirth that you're going to bring on this new chapter within your life where you're going to feel so much stronger, right? So, and the four, of course, is talking about that stability and the sixes are talking about that harmony within. Okay. The nine is the ending. The one is the beginning. Wow. You just see it all right there. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Beautiful water sign. Yes, it's talking about the rebirth. Definitely letting go. Making sure that you are, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others for whatever reasons, right? Getting in that forgiveness. Um, so you can definitely have this change. There's a change in the air, right? Definitely feeling like you have shed something um, and let go of something that no longer serves you or you're just shedding your old skin, kind of like a, a kind of like a, um, a snake. If we shed out the old and we bring in a new cycle, we don't, are not the same person, right? The way we're thinking, the way we're feeling, we know we've gone through a rebirth. We feel healed. We feel better. Oh, yeah, and stronger. There's that, <laughs> there's that strength coming in. Um, so definitely feeling much stronger, more loyal to yourself, more loyal to things around you, more disciplined stronger, more confident than you have maybe been for a while, knowing maybe that your manifestations are coming in, feeling like things are changing, knowing that you deserve these things. The universe says you do deserve your manifestation. So that's why your manifestation is coming through. Getting those karmic rewards, getting those things done. Uh, the strength in the humpback whale is the happy celebration, feeling like you're celebrating, feeling that joy and that excitement. There is a lot of joy and excitement that is coming in um, within the new month, right? Sometime. Okay, these are not really time stamped, guys. So it's just the en energy that is pouring through at this time. This is what I'm getting through this time period. Okay, so 
Yes. It has been quite a challenge to try to get to this manifestation. It's like I put in a lot of hard work. I've been waiting for this pinnacle. I have been waiting for this manifestation to come through. And now you are finally going to start seeing the end results where you're starting to see these things coming at you. Yeah, it was a pause and a surrender, but now you're going to have the <clears throat> understanding of the situation, of the rebirth that you had to get to the manifestation of why everything is going the way that it's going. You're going to be able to cut through any fog, any clouded ideas, anything that might have been hidden from view, hidden from your mind of why it took so long. He's holding that ace and here's that ace of why it took so long. Or, right, or is it coming? Anything that felt like it was clouded in view, my friends, um, it just feels like now you have so much understanding, right? So much understanding. And it's just, yeah, here we go again with that strength card. The forgiveness is the strength card. You know, forgiving myself, you know, maybe I've kind of let myself down. Maybe I didn't put in exactly what I felt I needed, but I, you know, but I got strong in the end. However it is, right? <clears throat> maybe you need to forgive someone else um, for pettiness or however. Um, but yeah, definitely seeing the sun coming out. Wow. So there's definitely blessings that are coming to you. I see a lot. There's a lot of sunflowers going over here saying you stayed true and loyal to yourself in the, you know, whether it was in the end or through the whole period. Um, everybody's story is going to be a little different, but it does show this loyalty and this trust that you have um, to get where it was that you needed to be. Um, there could have been some red flag areas, and I feel like those are, because he's wearing this red cape, it just feels like those were kind of the places within your life where you felt like I'm not sure exactly what's going on why is this hidden and that's what's really going to come to light is why these things are happening why it took so long if you're waiting for someone else you could have been waiting for someone else to get rid of their things to get rid of their baggage to you know get to a place where you are <clears throat> okay they may have had choices there could have been a lot of choices and decisions that were going on within the situation if you were manifesting love, you know, because they have to plant their own seeds. They have things that they have to do as well. So Spirit says, if you see these numbers, just remember this is what's going on. Um, lots of nines, lots of sixes, right? One is telling you you have that new beginning where the, you know, pinnacle is coming in for you. So keep yourself as balanced as possible. Go ahead and start planting the seeds that you need for your next manifestation, for the next phase within your life that is coming around as we speak. You already have one gift coming in. Now it's time to plant the seeds for the next, right? And you'll have a clearer view of how to do these things and what's needed and how it's, you know, how things are going. That's where it says just keep the strength and the trust within yourself. It takes a lot of strength and trust. She's trusting that that lion is not going to bite her arm off, right? And he's being awfully loyal to her, right, to even allow that. So he, there's, it's kind of funny because in this card, not only is she trusting that that lion's not going to eat her, that lion is also trusting her that he, she is not going to hurt him, right? So the loyalty and the trust is going both ways. Because animals, you know, they get scared. I mean, seriously, why do you think they do bite us? Because they're scared, right? So there's a lot of loyalty and trust right there between the two of them that they are sharing together, and it's taking a lot of strength on both sides, right? For him not to bite her and for, you know, her to even feel like, oh my God, is he going to bite my arm off? But she's saying, I, I love you and I'm going to trust this situation. I trust you. And he's saying, okay, I trust you too. Right? Infinite balance and strength. And look at the infinite. That's an eight, right? Snake eating its own tail over there as things come around. <clears throat> So, very beautiful reading. I will get a daily healing card for you guys. These are just short and quick, my friends, okay? They're just here. They're little messages. They help us along our days, are, you know, keeping us strong, keeping us going where we need to go, helping us understand messages from spirit. And that's, that's really, you know, all it really needs to be. Take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. And that's what I was saying before is, you know, with this rebirth, 
And this death card, you know, you're, it's kind of like you're a, a snake, right? Shedding the old skin away because you are changing because you're spiritually growing. You're seeing things in a different light as you are taking on this beautiful rebirth. Okay. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.